During a debate on the repeal of obsolete laws in the House, parliamentarians argued that during the apartheid era, the laws benefited only the white minority who continue to enjoy these benefits to date. Finance Deputy Minister Maureen Hindambuende says the proclamation of 1921 and a number of other laws always gave privilege to minority Namibians at the expense of the majority inhabitants. That law was used to rule and to empower and it has uplifted the Arambure out of the absolute poverty. Why are we unable to uplift ourselves with the same laws? RDP President Mike Kabekotora and Swapo's Philippus Katamela echoed the same sentiment, saying the past injustices created by these outdated laws must be replaced. Communities that were benefiting from these obsolete laws, and there is a cumulative loss to the communities that did not benefit from these obsolete laws. And there's nothing in between that addresses that. Between the current way of doing things in society, black and white, but other than that, there is the intent to foster economic development amongst the citizens. So my thinking says that when we repel something of that nature, that had a predetermined intent, what is the counter that we are bringing in? But Agriculture, Water and Land Reform Minister Carl Sledwein says he is confused with the proposed amendments. I'm a little bit nervous because we are talking about some of the some existing hmm. uh, industries like the Karakul industry. We are talking about titles, we are talking about communal land, and there are some legitimate questions raised about the land administration. I'm, I'm not so sure whether... Um, at least myself, and I'm speaking for myself, have the necessary information to say, I know what we are repealing and I know what we are legislating for. Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security Minister Dr. Albert Kawana and Works and Transport Minister John Mutora also rose in support of the proposed laws. Appreciate, we need to learn, we need to educate our young people, the future generation where we came from, where we are now, and where we are going. This is a progressive step that the Law Reform and Development Commission has really achieved, that quite a number of laws are found to be obsolete or outdated, and they are now repealed as per the provisions of our Constitution, which I think is well done. Debate on the repeal of obsolete laws was concluded in the National Assembly and Justice Minister Yvonne Dousseb is expected to reply next week.